Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today we're going to read a story called Back to School Cool by Susie Spafford. It was the first day of school in Duckport. Now I look like a second grader, said Susie Duckin so proudly. Susie walked to school with her best friend, Emily Marmot. Red, blue, or purple hair bow, said Emily. What do you think? I think you're driving me silly, Susie giggled. Zip! Jack Quacker flew past them on his skateboard. Woohoo, he shouted. Second grader coming through. Look out, Susie called. Jack whipped past a girl. Oh no, said Susie. That's my new neighbor, Penelope O'Quinn. Are you okay, Penelope, she called. I'm all right, Penelope said. Her voice was very soft. Emily helped Penelope pick up her lunch. What an interesting lunch, thought Susie. Olives, tuna, and a marshmallow sandwich. And a green banana. Want to walk to school with us, Susie asked. That would be nice, said Penelope. That would be great, she thought. She didn't know how many Duckport, she didn't know many Duckport kids yet. I can't wait to meet our new teacher, Susie said. I brought her something, Penelope said. Shyly, see? It sure is thorny, Emily noted. Thank you, said Penelope. I want to get her something no one else would. At the schoolyard, the girls joined a jump rope game. Let's do the bubblegum song, called Susie. Suddenly, a voice boomed. Bubblegum, bubblegum, in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? One, two, three, four, five, six. Windows rattled, traffic stopped. Penelope sure was full of surprises. I wonder if our new teacher will be funny, said Jack. I wonder if she's strict, said Quirky Turtle. I wonder why she's not here yet, asked Susie. Ring, a bicycle, a bicycle bell rang behind them. Sorry I'm late, the teacher sang out. I stopped for donuts. Nothing kicks off the school year like a good curler. I always say, I'm Miss Cornella O'Plum, she announced, but if you like, you may call me Miss O. Miss O pulled up some very odd things out of her bag. Well, boys and girls, she began, we have a very exciting year ahead of us. We're going to keep journals. We're going to work with math. And we're even going to build a city out of snack crackers. Sometimes, Miss O. Plum said, we'll stand on our heads, but mostly we're going to have fun. Now it's your turn, Susie Duckin. Would you please tell us about yourself? Miss O. asked. Certainly, as Miss Plum said Susie, folks always notice Susie's good manners. Miss O. did too. Susie told about her rock collection. Then Jack showed his latest skateboard movie. Corky said that he liked maps. He liked Mrs. O's globe earrings. Emily skipped her turn. She was busy handing out napkins. Donuts can be so messy, she said. Finally, it was Penelope's turn. My favorite color is brown because it goes with me, she began, and my favorite snack is stuffed olives because I like food that looks you in the eye. And I like being a porcupine because I can put stuff on my quills. Her classmates laughed. They liked this new kid. Time for art, announced Miss O. You will be in three groups. I would like you to create your very own leaf art leaf art think about expressing the beauty of the season in a whole new way no idea is a bad idea 
Let's think of something really cool, Susie said to her friends. Let's wait and see what everybody else is doing, said Jack. Emily scowled. That's a bad idea, Miss O said. There are no bad ideas, said Jack. Trust me, said Susie. Copying is always a bad idea. I know what we could make, Penelope said softly. She told everyone her plan. All the groups were hard at work. Finally, Mrs. O called out, finish up, it's showtime. Vivian Snortwood's group went first. I put the leaves under paper, said Vivian, and we rubbed crayons on top. Very nice, Miss O, I love the colors. The next group unrolled the paper. The trees on their picture were covered with real leaves. I like the way you use those leaves, said Mrs. O. Next group. Susie and her friends made a pile of leaves in the middle of the floor. All was quiet. Then Penelope called, I give you fall. Jack turned on the fan. The leaves swirled all around. It was like, the be like being outside on a windy day. The children and Mrs. O clapped and clapped. Bravo, said Mrs. O, living art. How wonderful. Your idea was really different, Jack told Penelope, but it turned out great. Penelope's ideas are different, said Susie, and that's what we liked about her. The end.